What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Roggle, here with Sig. Having fun, like always, waiting for other apps updates. We can go live on them as well and enjoy the fun times of social media and the huge updates that they like to send send out for no, no reason. But yeah, another episode, another another day, another night. Putting kids to bed as yours are still running around in the background. Yep. Wildly and crazy. Yeah, they should be going to bed soon. Let's we'll see. No promises. We need four to five more hugs before they get anywhere close to bed. My door is locked, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that's fine. Look at the dogs. Dad, come here. Dad, pretty, you. Pretty much. Dad. Pretty much. It's not them, it's the cat. Try and get in to look at my fish tank. Your fish doesn't jump out of the fish tank, would you? They, they can't. There's a top on it. But I have had that happen before. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where one of my fish went and it was until I was actually cleaning it. It would have been like only two or three days because it wasn't, it was like still freshly dead is the best way to put it. It was dried, but it wasn't, it's, yeah, it's hard to explain. Moist, but dry. <laughs> flexible okay but anyways i literally just went to go clean it and i put the bucket down uh back over here right behind me i was like what the fuck is that oh man it's one of my black fish i was like god damn it my cat fucking shit on my floor i went down to like go pick it up with a uh with paper towels and all sounds like oh that's where my fish went awesome lovely i'm so glad i paid money for you you stupid fuck Darwism. That's fine. Yes. Expensive fishies. Like no, it expensive. wasn't expensive. I was just mad I wasted money on them. It's just, it's, they're such a weird pet or yeah. animal to own. I have a hard time calling them a pet. Because you Hobby. <laughs> can't do anything with them. Like you just stare at them. Um, you can stick your finger in my fish tank and they'll bite your fish. They'll bite your finger. Sound like enjoyable. I don't think it is. My kids think it's funny. My dog too, but I guess not. <laughs> cool. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, my kid, my seven year old, do that too. <laughs> I put, put my finger in her face. She's probably gonna bite at it. I mean, I don't, you, I, you have bigger issues if you're just taking your finger in your kid's face. I see you. That's smart. I see you. Knock, knock it off. <laughs> Total side note, but still relevant. Um, my son today, keep in mind it's four. Go, hey dad, dad, dad. What? What do you want? Smell my finger. No. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, come on. It smells really good. No. No. Other people tried this on me years ago, and they got me once. It ain't happening again. I don't care how old you are. I'm not sniffing your finger. Come on, it smells good. <laughs> Don't come with this wizardry. I was there when the magic was born. We just had like instant flashback to no stop. The nasty go away. Wow. Yes. This is smell this flashback. Traumatize moments of, well, I guess, high school and military life. I, I didn't ask if anybody's finger in the military. Mm -mm. No, that's a yeah, different, different thing. Different. I, have a, I have a bad habit of smelling things, so yeah. I anything before I eat anything, drink anything, I smell it. <laughs> I, Somebody's I, finger, I though? Of, I, I don't know. I, I have a bad habit of smelling stuff. Next time I'm up there, I'm gonna buy some fart spray. I'm, I'm gonna spray my finger. My I'm gonna spray my finger and be like, hey, smell this. And he's like, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> like, hey. You learned your lesson yet? No? No, I no, no I really this long I know I'm admitting to doing it. No, I haven't learned my lesson. <laughs> no, of course I still do this. It's nothing nothing new. Nothing's probably gonna stop. I mean, you could you could actively chose, you know, not to, but whatever, weirdo. 
but it's just the, the, the need to know. I need to know what something smells like. Does it really yeah. stink? Yeah, does it? Find out. What is that? Find so out. I have to. I have to know. Just like the weird smells. Like you ever had like weird smell in your house, and you just have to walk around like, what does that smell? Like? You're going around awkwardly, looking like a dog on two feet, nose straight in the air, trying to figure out where the, the smells are coming from. I mean, yes, you have. You have kids. Of course, you have. <laughs> no, you like have kids stuck somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> like dirty diapers stuck somewhere. It smells like shit in here somewhere. Where is it at? I need to find it. It's either one, the kids, two, the dog. One of the two. There's some shit shoved somewhere. I need to the find dog. It. I can count on one hand the amount of times that dog got shit on my carpet or on my floors in the past 11, 10 years of having her. And it's only been three times. And one of those was a complete accident because we went to bed. Uh, well, kids were staying at their nans. We went to bed. I thought she was outside at 8 p.m. like she normally is before she goes to bed for the night. And we didn't wake up till probably 10 or 11. That dog was holding it and she just shit on the floor i was like all right that's fair we did make you wait like 14 hours so that's or longer because i i don't know if she went out at eight so don't knew but talking about horrible horrible choices and whatnot it's been a hot minute since we've done one of these and honestly while i was prepping or not prepping because that's the wrong word i just pulled the shit up as we were talking right before this, I kind of almost did a uh, almost Google search. Are you smarter than a fifth grader again? And want to run more tests on you? But, like There's we'll do this. We'll do that. We'll do this. We'll do this. Not be afraid of that stuff. <laughs> so, anyways, we're gonna do uh, would you rather type episode or uh, you know keep four, delete five, type whatever options. So, shiny fish I just saw in my background um options so we've done this before um probably one of our more most popular episode uh, was the original one we did and we talked about this even last week about the would you rather fight a chicken every time you get into your car or fight an orangutan once a year randomly but you get a sword and that was like one of our first uh short formatted content that took off uh, both TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Um, it's also the first episode that kind of like blew up in our terms of blowing up. We're not talking like millions and millions of hits, but you know, a few thousands, tens of thousands, I think on Instagram and the amount of people who just thought they could take an ring thing. Whatever. But we're back. With should you have a sword or not? Because <laughs> yeah, they didn't say how long or how big or anything, or if you were even well versed in the sword. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. We got some. I have a bunch of like just regular would you rather's because I could not. Every time I typed in Google for like pick one, remove the rest type scenario, it, it popped up uh, code structures for Python and JavaScript. So not really gonna help me there so if you find those we can incorporate them um i think i also have some on my tiktok account too so. but what better what <laughs> can everyone hear the kids screw you i ain't going to bed <laughs> pretty much i'm trying to just look at my my audio meter now to see because I can hear them. I know you can hear them. I'm sick and tired of this, mom. It's too damn bad. I'm sick and tired of this shit, grandpa. All right. So let's start off with kind of a, a weird, a weird one. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I already regret this as I just like kind of scroll through. I was having to pick one randomly. The question at hand is, would you rather let a crusty old man drink milk out of your belly button every day for one year or drink milk out of a crusty old man's belly button every day for one month? <laughs> you 
you just come out of the, come out of the gate saying, huh? this, is, this is where we go. This is where we go. Well, huh? we're, we're straight to it. That's the old man and good. Um, It was. It's, it really comes they're down drinking to from time thing. for a year. Yeah, every day for a year. Me drinking for a month. I'm drinking from him for a month. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm with you on that one. Just sort of solely for the base of time, like one month, one year, and that's not a like, that's not a lot of milk in the belly button. <laughs> No, but it's still crusty, like a crusty old man. That's that's pretty. Mm. I also have like a quick flashback to Yes Man when she was carrying the old lady. I uh, I don't know why, but I just picture like the the old guy from Family Guy. Hubert. Okay, just drink, just drink the milk. Leave me alone. <laughs> Touch me. <laughs> this is better than what I was thinking of. <laughs> oh my god! Do you have anything up on your computer for these, or am I just finding? I know, I'm looking. I'm looking at some right now. Okay. I'm just trying to like there, some are kind of dumb. It's fine. Uh, this one is: Would you rather eat a wet loaf of bread or? Mm. I didn't read this all the way through before reading it. Eat a wet loaf of bread or drink a pint of whipped fish. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut you off. I'm going bread. Uh, I don't like fish, let alone whipped. So I'd probably have to go bread too. I don't think I can do that one. That's a funny. pint? That's a lot of whipped fish. <laughs> Yeah, that's a tough one. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd go, I'd go bread. It's not a shooter. <laughs> a... Yeah. Blech. I don't know if I really like these weird ones I ran into. Would you rather always have to eat standing up or eat without utensils? I would rather eat standing up. Okay. I'm the same. I mean, I, I eat standing up majority of the time anyways. Yeah, I was like, I would, I would... Dinner is really the only time I sit down to eat. The rest of the time I'm standing up, mostly so my kids can't see what I have. I don't share. You yeah. know. Just saying. Um... Would you rather give up sex or give up food? Giving up food. I'm losing weight. I'm good. <laughs> so there's two. God damn. Did, could you hear that on your side? Oh, you're right. Okay, good. Yeah. I still agree with you on that one. Rather, rather bungee jump over a canyon or skydive over the ocean? I've done both of those. Um, yeah, well, I was in my I was in my early twenties, late teens, in the military. I had you know life insurance, health care, out the ass. It's fine. I'd rather do bungee jumping in a canyon. I have too big of a fear of the ocean. I do too, but I have a. A slight fear. I understand that yes, you can still die smacking water. You will die. <laughs> but I feel like there's a greater chance, slight chance, not greater. Slight chance of survival opposed to just falling straight into a canyon when your rubber band snaps. And if your parachute doesn't open? Yeah. I like it one of these. Um, I, I don't like a view. I'd, I'd rather I'd rather skydive over the ocean. You know, I I hate the ocean as well. 
I don't have a, I don't, I don't trust a uh, gigantic rubber band slingshot of me straight back up and going back down again. Oh, that's absolutely terrifying. I, I, I agree. I mean, I've absolutely seen it. Terrifying. I don't know what it's actually doing. So, so skydiving. It's absolutely terrifying. I don't like heights. I don't like the falling aspect. Falling I don't know. the problem. <laughs> so stop. It's kind of a problem. It's it's what leads up to the the end result of stopping. Sudden stop is the problem. I, I, I had the problem with. Uh, no, because even if it was like a falling into an endless abyss, no. I mean, sure, at some point you're just gonna be like, eh, I fall it. I'm bored. <laughs> but for like the first like th three to five minutes, it's just me screaming like a little bitch. Bloody Mary, <laughs> let me die. Where does uh, this whole end? <laughs> Alright. Um, would you rather be stuck in a phone box with 10 snakes or 10 tarantulas? Oh, but like a phone booth? Yeah. Okay. Uh, tarantulas. Fine. I don't want either. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll sit in a trench all day. Nope. I, don't want to say, I feel more comfortable. I would probably feel better with snakes than I would tarantulas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you held a tarantula? You had the little hairy legs just kind of touch you? Oh, no, no, it's a sensation I don't like. No. No, I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of spiders, but they don't bother me like snakes do. I just snakes should not be able to move. They don't have legs, feet, or anything. I caught a couple. They shouldn't be able to do what they do. I caught a couple this weekend, actually, when I was mowing my mother-in-law's yard. I had a baby garter about that about that big. And then she had three or four in uh, right by her house. And there was one probably, I think that was the smallest one back there. And there was like a giant one that I kept trying to catch. And, but he was too fast. I don't bother me because I know what they do, it's just the other ones I'm not a huge fan of. I'm taking the assumption these are not poisonous, because the tarantulas are not poisonous, therefore I would assume these are just harmless snakes. I like tarantulas. So, I mean, yeah, if I, if I walk to a phone booth and there's like 10 anaconda or boa constrictors, no, no thank no, you. No. Yeah, no. No, no, no fucking way. Or even, I mean, <laughs> anything, cobras, <laughs> just mom, oh, hey, look at that. Hot nope. mouth, no, rattlesnakes, no, no thank you. Let me just shut no, this I'm door, gonna... I think I got some lighter fluid. Oh, tarantulas are right here. I'll take door number two. Yeah, exactly. Should I be a thing? Nope. Tarantulas all day for me. <laughs> Would you rather explore, explore the Amazon rainforest or trek across the Sahara Desert? If you pick one of these, you're a fucking liar. Are you even, like, questioning this? How's this even a question? Because here's the thing, okay? Again, like, documentaries. The Amazon, we're still discovering species of animals there mm -hmm. and everything. And everything in the water is trying to kill you. Everything in the trees is trying to kill you. Everything on the ground is trying to kill you. But the desert, literally out trying to kill you, along with just the sun trying to kill you. It's a lose lose. But I feel like I have seen Naked and Afraid enough that I could do the Amazon a lot better than I could Fuck the Sahara yeah. Desert. <laughs> no fucking way. Put me in the desert all day. No. <laughs> I'm not touching that, that Amazon. Like, nope, thank you. Just the thought of it gives me swamp ass. Just the thought of how humid and rainy and everything else it is. Like, no. Like, everything about me right now. Yes, like, there's the accessible like, water? It hurts. Fine. Nobody says you don't have water. Have you it's, seen it's the Sahara like, Desert? Yes, yeah, so I'm saying it's a trek across, you're just, and you're exploring the Amazon. By the way, I mean, you're, you could have that stuff. But no, no, thank you. It, just like you said before, they're still finding species that they've never seen before within this place. No, no, thank you. I feel like the Sahara Desert's that way too, but everyone's like, it's too fucking hot. I'm not going to actively go search for animals there. If we see them on a drone, we'll say we found them. Cool. That's, I'll find them. I'll, just, I'll walk across that bitch. Not touching <laughs> No, thank you. That again, you're gonna have to go across, across water and everything else at that point. Nope. I have, a, I guess, I have the chance of running into quicksand, but 
But you have that on the Amazon too. Yeah, said, see, you're double fucked. I have quicksand, you have quicksand and water. And whatever else decides to just randomly spawn out of Satan's puddle in that area. <laughs> All right, so would you rather, and I feel like this may be the next orangutan chicken one, would you rather fight a kangaroo or fight a badger? This is just like a one one fight and we're done. This is one v one. Badger or a kangaroo? I'd rather take on a badger. I'm not getting kicked by a fucking kangaroo. But if you can get behind the kangaroo, they can't jump backwards. They can still hit with their tail and everything else. Yes, you gotta be able to find me behind you. And you're good luck getting around it. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen a badger. I've seen way too many documentaries on badger and the nasty things they do. Ooh. Fight a kangaroo. Swift and swift. Fight a kangaroo. If I'm going to lose, at least I'm going to lose quick. And it's probably going to be like a one hit to the dome. God. Whereas a badger is going to completely just destroy you, eviscerate you. Claws, cutting, biting, tearing, ripping. It's going to take a bit for you to die. Because you're not winning against the badger. <laughs> I don't think you're winning against kangaroo. I never saw with. I said that's why I said you're going to quit that. I'm trying to think of like just a kick from a kangaroo. It would hurt so much. I mean, yeah, think about it though, like, a kangaroo is just a deer that's been to prison. <laughs> you gotta think about what? it, like, they're, like, have you seen some of the ones that are, like, jacked? Like, I'm sorry, some of them just look like they could rip your fucking head off. And then take it and kick it two miles. Oh my god. Have you ever heard that, that, that kangaroos or deers have been to prison? No, I have not heard that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why it's so good. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. No, I'm not touching the kangaroo. I'll fight a, I'll fight a badger all day long. Oh my god. <laughs> no fucking way. No way. I just... Would you rather clog the toilet on your first date at their house or clog the toilet at your job? on the first day. Oh, first date, hands down. She doesn't know what she's getting into. <laughs> you can't handle me at my worst. You don't deserve it, my best. Also, do you, do you have a plunger? Or maybe a snake? I, I feel like at work, because I can blame somebody else. It's not like they're watching you coming out of the bathroom. They're like, oh yeah. <laughs> Don't go in there. It, it's clock. Yeah, no. Someone else is going to go in and be like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I find this Would you food. rather swim with sharks or go cage-free diving with dolphins? Dolphins. I don't know why. I feel like that should be reversed. Dolphins. I mean, I dolphins can um take advantage of you. There's cases of this. Yes. Yes. There is. There's plenty <laughs> of that. A lot of um unwanted touching on their half. Surprise sex. <laughs> Um, swimming with sharks should go cage free diving with dolphins. Why why do they have to make a specific of cage free with dolphins? Are these promiscuous dolphins that you're jumping in with? Is that why they have to make it cage free? But they say nothing about cage free with sharks. Are you just swimming with these sharks just for straight assholes? Um, but I would again I would go 
cage free diving with the promiscuous dolphins, I guess we're looking at them as. That's a, that's a weird word one. So you just read over and over again to make sure you read it right? Yeah. Like it's, yeah. I read it right. Right. Let's see. Okay, I know. All right. Let's be good. Would you rather watch? Would you rather only watch movies from the '80s or listen to music from the '90s for the rest of your life? <laughs> I'd rather listen to music. Fucking serious. How many yeah. good movies are in the 80s? Oh, there's a ton. There's a ton. There's a ton. I would, however, I would take 80s however, I listen to music more than I watch movies. Like, every day, I have music playing constantly. The only consistent movie that I have playing on a regular monthly rotation is Deadpool 1 and 2. <laughs> and the Christmas edition, which is just, you yeah. know, Oh, the PG-13 one? Yeah. So. Would you rather let your boss see your full internet history or let your parents see your full internet history? What was the first one? Boss or parents? I'd rather go with my, my parents seeing it. There's no need for my boss to see what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I want to keep my job. Judge me in what I'm doing, but I'll leave me alone. Let's see. Uh, I think I can say boss and be safe, because that's me. Hey, dude. You don't want to call your wife your boss? Okay, I see. I do graphic designs. I get paid that. You know it's uh, most of the money. Yeah, so you see. I know she's yeah, like. I know, I know you're standing quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's right at the door, but it's okay. I run this house. <laughs> I run this house. Would you rather have all of your Google searches made public or all of your photos on your phone made public? Not oh, photos on my phone public. Agreed. Agreed. Good luck. You're going to see pictures of me, the, my family, and then random Call of Duty loadout builds. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it's not, I'm not going to find any on my phone. It's like, uh, shit, I sent you. It's just like, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to find more. I try to find the food ones. Talking dog or a flying cat? Dog. I have a cat that acts like he's on crack 24-7. <laughs> I don't need him flying. I need goddamn mine. <laughs> you, you, you have to get rid of one. You can get rid of either sex, $600 million, or your teeth. One has to go, huh? One has to go. You get the other two forever. Oh, teeth can go. I'll, just buy, I'll buy false teeth. I think there's still teeth, though. It says I your teeth have that. to go. <laughs> well, you can also pay for other stuff for that $600 million. Yeah, but then it's like weird. <laughs> you can like the weird guy. <laughs> He that crusty old man while he's drinking milk for your belly button. <laughs> That's what I'll become. The creepy old guy who's drinking milk out of these, out of these women. What the fuck? <laughs> this has gone full circle. Always does. It's inevitable. Would you oh, rather... Man. Well, what about you, though? I guess you can answer that one. Oh, teeth. Yeah, teeth. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was... Really? You're trying to make me change my mind. That's what you're going. You're with. trying. You're trying to rationalize it with all the by falsely. Uh, I'll gum you to death. Would you rather teleport or read other people's thoughts? 
we've done this one before. Have we? Yes. Uh, I don't know if it'll be the same, but I would rather teleport. Because I'm going to assume it's teleport places you've been. I have been virtually all over the globe, with the exception of South America and Antarctica. So uh, I think I go with reading people's minds. I would never lose an argument again. I would always be right. <laughs> go, go bring her down here. Let's find this yeah. out. No, because I can't read her mind because I don't read the words. Tell her, so she comes tell out. her, tell her like, she needs to tell you the answer, and then you argue that she's that she's wrong. <laughs> even knowing the answer and guess what you're still wrong <laughs> you know it nope. um would you rather and for you keep in mind your size would you rather have five half-sized clones of yourself or one full-size clone of yourself i want a bunch of little mini motherfuckers oh and more children <laughs> We're about to, yeah, about to run shit around here. About to really fuck with people. Stand in your windows. <laughs> Butt ass naked, just, hey! You wanna see a treat? <laughs> you wanna see a helicopter? <laughs> they have to have squeakier voices. So what? <laughs> oh, half size of me is your size, so I mean, I guess that's fine. Still, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like having one full size clone would be useful. I don't know what I do with five half size me. I've seen I've seen too many like movies or cartoons and stuff like that where they do that and they end up trying to take their life over. No, thank you. You only know, the I five little you. half versions of you are going to do that. I can punch them little fuckers. I'll be alright. They're you're barely know, like, five. You're barely that. five foot. And you think they you're gonna punt a two and a half foot man? Yes. <laughs> they know when they see this, these little fuckers walking around. It's not me. When they get up close, they see them from far away. They're gonna think it's me. But when they get up close, they're gonna know. Oh, that's not. Is it? No, that's not. Yeah. Until they hear your voice. Just it's like, did you get kicked in the balls? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You got any? I got tons. Go ahead. Would you rather die in 20 years with absolutely no regrets or live 100 years with nothing but regrets? Keep in mind, you're also like 41 right now, so it'd be 61 for you. So really just cutting your life short by like five years. Fuck off. <laughs> um, that probably also mean you did join no, this from now. You would have joined the military, so never mind. So, so I'll go 100 in this level of regrets. I'll just get the. I'll just get it with no regrets. That joke's on you. We already live with regret. It's going okay. Oh, 100 years is a long time, though. Yeah. Like, Four years is not. No, no, it's I'm not I'm not arguing that. Oh, I'm just saying it's you know years a long fucking time. Like a long time. Like, I've had this discussion with my my daughter who was like, I I wish we could live, you know, a thousand years. I was like, no, no. Look, I'm not a big fan of death, but I don't want to live a thousand years. You fucking kidding me? That's a long fucking time. Mm -hmm. And right now, I can't even buy a house. Do you think I'm gonna be able to buy a house in 800 years? No. Drag off the misery. <laughs> Talk to myself into 20 years. Well, should we get survivor benefits? So it'd be fine. Be fine. What's the worst that's gonna happen? It's funny. Name name two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I 
rather give your phone or your computer? Um, I can literally do everything off my computer. I don't need my phone. I can take my phone, my computer to the toilet if I wanted to. I'd, I'd gladly give up my phone. There are times I just, I hate owning a phone. Yep. And in a, in a fucking heartbeat. It's just not even funny. I mean, there's, there's been, there's been moments in like this last like week or two alone where I'm like, eh. Can I go back to the flip phone? Like, I think I called my provider and they're like, oh, your bill would only go down $10. I'm like, is it? It's not even worth it. Well, I guess I'll keep my smartphone. Oh, yes. <laughs> you tortured me too hard. There is a really good one. Like, I keep finding all those like corny ones. I don't like these ones. Oh, I have some really nasty ones. I should. <laughs> uh, would you rather go into your past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great great grandchildren? That's what three generations after you. I go to the future. Are you? I want to know. I want to see what kind of. I'm trying to shut the fuck up. Uh, I guess I you fuck what, up. That's why I'm waiting for you. You oompa loompa looking ass. Go. I want to see what uh, what I left or what they built off of, if anything, or if they're living in the box that I'm building over there. <laughs> I'm not saying we're building my origin story. All I'm saying is I would go to the future and other than, you know, meet the family that I'll never know, uh, unless my daughter has her way and I live to be a thousand years old, uh, go to the future and then, you know, meet with them, do a little meet and greet Q and A type thing, and then go do some history research for the year I left and the next 10 years after I go back with that knowledge and start placing my fortune in proper locations to warrant passive income or quick income. But it's definitely not gambling. That's not why I'm getting at here. I'm just no, saying okay. I'd be placing my money. <laughs> sure, fire guaranteed. Yeah. That. So here's one that goes back to kind of the same, not the same thing, but similar. Would you rather be immortal, but forever be bored, or live one day by the time you're alive? Okay, see, now that's a little different. <laughs> We're talking about immortality. Yes, but you're bored the entire time. I'm bored all the fucking time now. <laughs> I have fucking ADHD, OCD, and other issues. You think I ain't bored? It, it'd be like, this would never change. <laughs> it would be, never change. I would, I would take immortality. Well, like, if that, that also means, like, if I can't die, like, legit immortality. I'm immune to death. Yeah, this feels more in your origin story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, one of these days we'll just do an episode where we, we recount the origin villain story. And it an comes. hour in the ocean with unknown threats <laughs> or in a room with an alien. Alien, all day. You just want to have shit in your ass. That's all. That's all you want. That come on, ET, bring it on. <laughs> Fuck that. No. The yeah, ocean. Yeah, okay, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Yes. The ocean. Yeah. Well, do you I know had, what's? I, do I had do the you know, know what's in the motherfucking ocean? No, I don't. That's why I don't want to be there. 
If I go into a room, at least I know it's an alien. And we're talking like mm-hmm. uh, space alien. But we're talking like I don't know. We're just alien. I don't know. Uh, it's... Didn't know if we're talking about any other type. Just want to make sure. Somewhere it's like ET. To... Put his hands on you. It's like ET. Nobody else. I mean, if it's like Paul, cool. I'll sit around and talk, <laughs> smoke weed all day. <laughs> That's exactly what it would be. All right, cool. That's how we're doing. Uh, kind of piggybacking off your immortality to, to a degree. Would you rather be forced to live the same day over and over for a full year or take three years off the end of your life? Three years off the end of my life. I, I'm I'm in agreement with you. Only for the sole purpose of living the same day for 365, unless it's sleep year 366. I could only imagine by the end of it, you're gonna be fucking insane. Mm-hmm. And very likely probably going to put a bottle to your head as Brad Paisley sang in this song. So, you know, one would only imagine that would be where we go. So, that'd be weird, though. Because it's still a complete random. It's like, you don't know when you're going to die, so. But what if, what if, hear me out. What if, three years off your life, right? What happened if you were supposed to die, like, next year? Three years would make it two years ago. Would you just be ganked right then? Yep. Or would you be given, you know, up two years to equal three? <laughs> much way too much. Six <laughs> this week. <laughs> oh, here's an easy one. I feel like, would you rather never use the internet again or never fly on an airplane again? And if you listen to this up, these episodes, you know my answer already. I know you're not going to plane anywhere. Nope. Sure should I? I can give up planes too. It wouldn't bother me. <laughs> and I was in the Air Force. I think we've done this one before. Uh, the only reason why I'm going to ask you again, see if your answers change, because I, I, I'm pretty sure you, uh, I remember your answer. Would you rather mentally or physically never age? So you're stuck right now where you're at. Mentally or physically? Um, I think I think we did do this one. I think I remember it uh, physically. Because if I go any further, I'm going any further, fucking break in half. So no, I, yeah, just physically. I want to be able to still move. You just want to know what the fuck's I'm, going on. Whatever, it's fine. I can still walk around. I was like, it's going to do this? It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be one of these. Why'd you do that? I don't know. The fuck's that what? for? Why am I flipping him off? Go sit down. You're old. I still think mentally, I, I want, want to mentally be present at all times. Hold up. Would you rather be able to read minds or have read every book in the world? I read minds. I get two shits about books. You know this. If you listen to this podcast, you know that I get two shits about books. Wait, cheer me out, though. Every book in the world. Keep in mind, there are books in this world of which we are still looking for. Of like divine text, uh, mythology, uh, historical. I would have that knowledge. And then I could go on and be like, hey, if you pay me, I can show you proof that Atlantis exists. I have the knowledge up here. 
out of all the scripts that Socrates ever wrote, out of all the pre pre books as well. Like I got it. Let's go. And then I sell this mind for money. I can tell I can read their mind for a dollar. <laughs> Many people I'm a millionaire. That's true too. <laughs> I do like having the knowledge. I just like having the knowledge that villain story, that's all we're working on over here. Yes. Would you rather go to jail for a crime you didn't commit or get away with it? Get away with it. Get, get with the crime. Why would I go to jail? Don't. Don't. Don't question. After I read it, I was like, no, never mind. <laughs> Stupid. Would you rather have a hamster sized dog? Or a dog sized hamster. Like an hamster sized dog. It's called Chihuahua. Are assholes. I have one. Hamsters are assholes. I've been bit by numerous. There's a bunch of assholes. I've, I've never. I've never been bitten. I've had several growing up. But maybe because I wasn't a fucking asshole to them. I was just so throwing it in my hand and fucking chomp. Give one of your eyes to a complete stranger or blind for the rest of your life. I guess give an eye. Because I'll still be able to see. And the amount of times I have done this. <laughs> Jokes on you, I'm giving you the bad one. I can't see on this one anyways. <laughs> <laughs> The amount of times like I I just covered my eyes or I rubbed my eyes so hard that it literally just like there's no vision coming out of it. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I can lose an eyeball. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um <laughs> Would you rather be smacked in the face with a fish? Or farted on. Are you give me the fish? You farted me. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Fuck some no. I fucking hate that. <laughs> Lane, if you listen to this, you know I hate it. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck. Give me pink eye, bitch. <laughs> uh. I'm assuming you're taking the fish as well. <sighs> Yeah. Unless you're into some weird shit. No, that's fine. All right, that does remind me. I saw the saw a TikTok today where it's this girl sitting in the truck and she's like, that hot two girl has it all wrong. Don't spit on a thing. Get on it and fart. I saw that. You weirdo. <laughs> the amount of stitches and comes. What the fuck is wrong with you? Dumb. <laughs> Yeah, but now it's like in your head after that question. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Would you rather live in a haunted house with ghosts or be a ghost living in a haunted house? Basically be haunted or do the haunting. He's thinking everybody. I'd rather be the haunted one. No, I'd be the be the ghost haunting. I just get annoyed after a while. Like fucking stop, just leave me alone. You're annoying. Your shit's getting old. Do something productive. If you're gonna live here, do be productive. Could you? You see those dishes? Yeah, go get them. <laughs> I don't know if you can open the dishwasher, but I'll I'll open it if you load it and unload it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, I'm with you on that one, but again, I had instantly with you. I'm going. <laughs> My villain era is over, and now it's post death. Villain era. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Go to jail for five years, or be in a coma for a decade, which is ten years. Which by the way, just. 
Mom for 10 years or jail? You say jail? For five. five. I'll take Kama for 10. Like using that. <laughs> Imagine getting out of a coma and just like, you know, after getting your bodily functions, everything back in order and just be like, oh my God, I'm so tired. If this coma was all for nothing, it was the coma. I made a deal with the genie. He said, jail for five years, or coma for 10. I went, oh, I need a nap, bitch, let's do this. I'm so tired. Oh, yeah. Would you rather never be able to speak or have to speak using your butt cheeks? <laughs> Question. This is a throwback to last week. Uh, can I create an OnlyFans? <laughs> I think you'd have to at this point. Talk with my butt cheeks. <laughs> It'll be the world's best ventriloquist. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you? What about you? Um, talk with my butt cheeks. I'd be messing with people left and right. Really talking out of my ass. <laughs> I mean, you already do that as it is. Why not? Exactly. <laughs> All right. Would you, Would you rather have super sensitive taste buds and taste everything more intensely than anybody else, or super sensitive hearing and be able to hear even the faintest of sounds? Please thank you, everyone. Just to... I think I would go with uh, taste buds. I enjoy not being able to hear. I'm doing this more of like a my safety type thing. I guess I don't want food. I don't. I don't want to hear. I don't want to be driving by somebody's house or at a red light by somebody's house and hear noises. From the entire fucking neighborhood and be like oh my god why is everyone having sex what is going on what kind of neighborhood do you live in college <laughs> Duh. would you rather take drugs all day or have to yell every time you poop For my health, I'm going to say yell every time I poop. What about you? Oh, I'm pooping all day long. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy I can't, one. I can't do anyways. <laughs> Damn it! Doing that right now. So stop! I just need two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> yeah, we need help. I, ooh, I need to wipe. I'll be out in a couple minutes. Leave me alone. Rather, and this is easy for me because we've already kind of established this. Rather be the hero that saves the girl or the villain that rules the world. Say again. Would you rather be the hero that saves the girl or the villain that ruled the world? In other words, a successful Still villain. Yeah. yeah, successful villain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we know where the fuck you're at. <laughs> the page I'm on has like comments, and on that one it says, What if I'm the girl and the villain? That's all it says. People are like, stop it. Sit down. Sit down and drunk. Would you rather have to kill an elephant or kill a lion? Is this like guaranteed they're dead? Or do you just have to kill it? I'm going to take the have... lion. I'm going to take the lion. I feel like that would be easier to kill. 
I seen an elephant get blown darted so much that it doesn't even pass the fuck out. And I would hate to have waste all my ammunition on this, this giant elephant for this fucker to come at me when I have no ammunition. I'm trying to go back home. He may have fled. This bitch is going to remember. I'm taking a lion. I'm going to go elf, and I feel like I stand a better chance of trying to kill an elf than a lion. I'm going to need you to watch some documentaries. I've, I've seen plenty of shit on elephants, but I've also seen a lot of shit on lions, and... That's true. That's a cat. I mean, that's... Cats. I have cats here. Yeah, I'm good then. Yeah, they're very spry. You know what I don't have? Fucking elephant. Well, yeah, you, you can't kill them. That's why. Which is why I'd rather kill the, kill the lion. Elephant. Would you rather be naked at work for an hour a day or be dropped off two miles from your house while you're naked and have to try to get home? Mm. High school flashback <laughs> or worst nightmare. <laughs> Okay, hold on. We need clarification. Which one's two miles? Two miles being naked. <laughs> Worst nightmare. <laughs> naked at work. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. Been all naked. the '80s and '90s were wild. Never been naked. Um. I mean, does the military count as work? Because I've been naked plenty of times there. On <laughs> That's where my thought was too. Is <laughs> I've also been naked two miles away from home on deployment as well. I was like, I, um, I've showered naked with plenty of other people, so you know, there's that. Cool. I will take the uh, two miles away. I'm gonna home. cop out and say naked at home or naked at work. <laughs> oh, naked at home. Okay, I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> well, my home is my work. I work yeah, on my computer. Doesn't say can't be home. It just says naked that work. This one I think should be fairly easy. Needle to your arm or have a toenail removed. All right, hold on. Say that first part again. Have a needle to your arm in your arm or get a toenail removed. Needle. Every day. All day. I'm not saying I'm the All stupid day. one that like put a needle through my finger. I've done that before, so I would only imagine a needle in the arm. Wouldn't hurt nearly as much. Toenail being ripped off? Oh my god! I've had my I've had an ingrown toenail, and then not put enough numbing medicine down there, and I could feel them cut and rip the toenail off. So no, I'm I'm good. I'll take the needle. Thanks. Thanks. Awesome. Awesome. I'm not doing that one. Did you say toenail or needle? Oh, needle. Yeah. I'm not having no. Would you rather? I don't know why we keep saying would you rather. That's the whole fucking point of this. <laughs> Have a cupboard full of sex toys or a, a closet full of kinky outfits. Let's get some insight into Rock. <laughs> That's some going sex toys. I don't know what the, I don't really like kinky outfit stuff. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Whips and chains out. Let's do this thing. Wait, which one are you picking? I said sex toys. Just to be different. Give me something new to wear. I'm gonna show up on the podcast. Uh, shit. You... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Be able to poop on command and have to pray to the devil. 
or able to poop normally, but you have to eat it afterwards. All right, let's say the let's say the first part. Poop on command and what? Poop on command and have to pray the devil to do it. Or, or able to poop normally, but have to eat it afterwards. Oh, I guess Satan and I are about to be on a <laughs> regular basis. We're about to be shitting buddies. <laughs> Oh, good. Um, would you rather share a bed with a walrus every night or an eel every night? Oh, it's a, it's a big motherfucker. Or a little slimy <laughs> fucking weirdo. Well, not little, but yes, yeah, comparative to the walrus, they are little. I mean, I guess I just take the walrus and kiss my ass goodbye when he rolls over. Because that's a, that's a huge bitch. That's a I big couldn't do the whole slimy, I couldn't do the whole slimy stickiness of the eel. That's, yeah. Bring back, the walrus is going to be any better, but... Bring back some childhood trauma for you? I mean, that's just weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you... Um, I kind of feel like an eel would be the better choice just I because I could sleep on the edge. But like, you your point of fish, eels in my kinky outfits. You know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like your point about the walrus, like just a valid point. Because if it rolls over on me, guess what? I'm not sharing a bed with the walrus again. No, because you are the bed. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Mm. So you're taking eel? Walrus. You're taking walrus, okay. Yeah, yeah. The death aspect of it weirdly converted me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Forcing the sucking on a stranger's toe? Stranger's toes or fingers? So it's either toe or fingers? Yep. I guess the fingers. <laughs> I guess the fingers. I would go fingers all day long. I'm not touching those fucking feet. I feel like you would do it weird. You already yeah. kind of weirdly do it. Something like sniff my finger, you're like, yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, that was really good. Did you have... You have pizza rolls for lunch? Well, I, anyway, I can taste was... it. <laughs> what the spicy there? If I'm doing <laughs> toast. Would you rather I think we've done this one before. Would you rather fly or be able to turn invisible? Oh. And go invisible. Be able to fuck with people a lot more. Flying you could too, but I think you'd be able to be a lot more fun. I'm not saying I could like do some villainous stuff, but I could definitely get away with some stuff. I could buy a bigger house. I could buy multiple houses. I could acquire some new technology. But yeah. Visibility. Yeah. I'll right, do a couple more and then we are. We'll wrap this episode. I just realized we've been at this for an hour. Welcome to the long episode, y'all. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. I have so many of these that I want to ask, but they're not like... They're a little invasive. You're gonna give me shit for this, so we don't need to know my answer. But would you rather only eat sweet food or only salty food? I'd rather eat salty. <sighs> uh, I, we know yours. Everybody knows yours. No. No. <sighs> So you're going sweet? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing sweet, sorry. 
Spend the day wearing homeless person's clothes or spend the day wearing what underwear? Like the whole day? Spend your day wearing homeless person's clothes or spend a day wearing wet underwear? I got used to wet underwear on Sunday, so I think I could do that one. I don't know what the fuck that means, but okay. <laughs> What you do on Sundays with your weird kinky outfits? I don't want to know anything about. <laughs> I'll take the I'll take the homeless clothes. So I could One get on, de on deployment. That's what I, that's what I felt like. <laughs> then you should be used to wet underwear. Those can come off. You can free ball just fine. Things might get a little dusty, but you're not walking around chafing and feeling all fucking nasty. Look. On Sunday, I had to mow my mother in yards. Mother in law, yeah, my mother in yards. I had, I had to mow her yard, and it took me two times. Like I had to mow the front, killed my batteries. Had to mow the back, killed my batteries. And both times, it took like an hour and a half because it was really thick, tall grass because it's been raining like crazy. At 105, 106 degrees, I had swamp bass till kingdom come. So, I am more than accustomed. Too wet. I think I had to go into detail to explain why you had wet underwear on Sundays, you fucking weirdo. I decided to justify. Yeah, what's wrong, man? <laughs> Just had to justify. That was it. Not that really makes it any better. I'm just saying. Would you rather? Lose your penis or lose your entire face. I've seen Game of Thrones. <laughs> My entire face? Yes, the entire face. Not pieces, just the entire face. I guess I'm being a eunuch. Left my face a little, a little too much. I feel like it's beneficial for you. You don't go anywhere. <laughs> you can lose your face and be fine. Um, I can't do these podcasts. You know how creepy this, these podcasts would be? Take my face all day. Don't touch my dick. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather be trapped in a rom-com but with your darkest of enemies or trapped in a horror movie with all of your friends? In a rom com with who? Your darkest of enemies. I'll put me in a horror movie. Same. Just because I have a very small group of friends. I'm sure there's a lot of people that fucking hate me. Black twist. I'm pushing you all in front of me. <laughs> you act like you can fucking outrun this. <laughs> I'm out running late. All I have to do is throw some chocolate at you and be like, get back to work. And your Oompa Loompa ass is going to make it work. I also have some friends that are, uh, that would not survive. <laughs> and the more I keep thinking about the group of people I have as friends, you all are all bigger than me. <laughs> I think you and I are about the same, like, size, body-wise, not height-wise. I'm taller than you. But, yeah. You made that clear. Everybody is bigger than me. <laughs> and I cannot run them. I think I prepared for this, like, like so just in here. <laughs> You're only coming along because I need somebody who's actually seen some horror movie shit. What do you do? Okay, you go do that. <laughs> Go do it. I'm gonna stay right here and not move. I'm gonna stay in the basement, not the attic, because everybody runs upstairs. Nobody goes downstairs. Only Freddy goes downstairs. Yep, I'll gladly stay with you then. Go ahead. <laughs> go right uh, ahead. I'll stay on the main floor. You can go to the basement. Go right ahead. Uh, drink pee or drink someone's spit. 
<laughs> Whose pee is it? <laughs> that just says drink pee. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm drinking pee all day long. I'm not touching my spit. <laughs> That I can't like. It depends on pee it is. Is it like mine? I cool. I know why. I, I I know why. I I, nope. I I I ate drink. It could be the darkest of anything. I will drink that all, all over somebody's spit. It's I'm like my stomach really hurts thinking about it. It could be like a big thing of pee too. I don't versus care. like a loogie. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> no. Oh, that's so disgusting. It's not like it's cold and flu season where it's a. Uh, I don't uh, give a shit. That's fun. Ugh. A really chunky. <laughs> I mean, so I know. I used to have a teacher in high school that whenever she would talk, she would get like spit would fill up oh, yeah. her mouth. Yeah. And I couldn't like, I couldn't look at her. And she's like, you look at me on top of you. I'm like, I can't like. I just, I tried to like look at her directly in her eye. And then I got called being a smart ass. I'm like, no, like, I can't look at your mouth. Like I, there's no, like, I would say the exact spit. opposite, just going, you're disgusting. Mm -hmm. How do you not know this? It's gross. And, then, and they'd be like, what's the answer? It's like, I don't I don't even know what the fuck you said. What what is she talking want, about? I'm more, I watching watching other people being around other people that brush your teeth, like I can't I can't do it. It's it drives me nuts. It's disgusting. It grosses me out. It's weird. Mm -mm. All right, we each have one more. One more? Yep. It's... We did have this for a hot minute. Uh... Okay, so to piggyback off that one, let's just go here. Would you rather spit or swallow? That's the question over here. And don't act like we don't know. <laughs> I, it's oh, I mean, I'm spitting this shit all day long. If I if I have to do this, I'm spitting it. I'm gonna. <laughs> 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 Doing that thing, you know what I'm saying? You fight the stupidest. Oh, Lordy. Come on now, what's yours? Oh, oh, spitting, but not as aggressive as yours. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna. As soon as it's in, that thing out. <laughs> Everything. You got one more. Then we gotta wrap this shit show up. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have a really long neck or really long legs? Legs. All day. I couldn't do a long neck. It's fucking weird. Make Stacy Keebler look like nothing. I'm gonna walk out everywhere with her her WWE entrance nineties. Oh my god. Oh. It's gonna really weird at the end. Eh. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect? Okay, yeah. It got weird. Well, it's the only weird if you make it weird. <laughs> True. Anyways. Now that it's been an hour and 15 minutes of doing this crazy shit, and it's probably a lot longer than we should have made. <laughs> If you made it this long, this far into the episode, congratulations. You win nothing. But you listen to us talk shit for over an hour about would you rather. And we found out somebody prefers toys over outfits. That's all. That's all, that's all we're taking from this. <laughs> I mean, other stuff, but that's kind of like the most important part. Uh, anyways, 
make sure you check us out every Thursday night for our live streams where Rago and I play Call of Duty. I, I would say for right now, but that's what we play. So we play Call of Duty. Yeah. If you haven't already, go check out the YouTube channel to guys my gamepad for uh, not only for this podcast episode, but also for our weekly video game updates covering games that him and I play. Um, so you're not going to find like Apex Legends. You're not going to find updates about that. Neither one of us play it. Uh, but it'll be about games one of us or both of us plays. And then I am currently working on a third YouTube channel for us, technically, that is all of our video editions that, that we're recording and they're going to be put up there. That is later this year. All of season three will be on there for sure. And then uh, episode or seasons after that. So, yeah. Answer the questions along with us. Just said that earlier. Go back and listen to all this and then answer all the questions. So, <laughs> that's all I got. Rago, go ahead and spell that thing. Let's go. I got nothing else. This this was this was fun. I got weird at the end. I got nothing else. So the next one. Bye bitch. <laughs>